So, you know, for so many of us, we know Boomcat. And now it's like, actually, finally, to sit here and have a conversation with you. And you've been the mastermind behind so many dances that we you know, fell in love with so many visuals that we fell in love with. Cause you know, as a director as well, right? yes. You know, you've done so much in the game. I know, right? It's shocking to me sometimes. The other day I was like, wait a minute. Did I just like, did I slide through little Kim's legs? Did I really <laughs> bring big down from a birdcage in the sky? Did I, you know, meet missy when she was mm. in the group sister and then choreograph rain and then i'm like did i you did dance rain? with brandy yes. yes did i put the jonas brothers together Damn. danity kane day 26 Nicki minaj and then lady gaga and then you know Katy perry and Ooh. yeah the list goes on but sometimes i don't think i think about it because you still have so much that you want to do you know right and i also think that my road was riddled with a lot of uh you know, uh, a lot of struggle and, yeah. and the ability to just be a living example of perseverance, so. I have so many questions because, you know, when we look at dancers and we look at their careers, it's such a grind, right? Girl, I'm still how, grinding. <laughs> yes. How did you know this is the world you wanted to be in? And I mean, were you, was your family supportive? Because a lot of times people I know who want to become dancers and this is what they want to do for a living. It's hard to get support from their family because it's viewed as something that's not stable. And so there's concerns about it. When you were breaking in, I mean, did you know that this is what you wanted to do? I think my mother says that as a young girl, she had put my two older sisters, I'm the baby, mm. and she had put them in dance and they both rejected it. And then she said when she had mm. me, she was like, I'm my mother's Jamaican. She was like, I'm not going to put Larianne in dance because she thought she spent the money putting the other two. She was like, she's <laughs> not going to do it again. And she said, I asked that to be put in dance. So, um, wow. I don't remember never not wanting to dance, not wanting to move. Uh, my father says that when I was very young, I had a brown box in the basement that he too is Jamaican. He always be like, pick me, move the box. What is this box doing in the basement? And he says to me that I said I was birthing myself into the world, which I now Whoa. know is the egg that I later put Gaga in. And I used to be obsessed with Barbies. I had a crawl space full of Barbies and I'd make them dance and perform. And the first time I did Nikki, I built the first uh, room in what would be the Barbie house, the right. concept. So I don't ever oh. not remember dancing, you know? And so, you know, I am very faithful and give uh, glory and honor to God for my gift, for what I know was uh, a purposed gift. Woo, yeah. yes. So how was it when you got the call? Because now you're on a new show. Yes. For you, this is, you know, I, I mean, Duh, right? Like when you think of it, of course you should be on a show that, you know, celebrates dance and right. and whatnot. So tell us a little bit more about this new venture. So you think you can dance season 16, which is really a huge surprise. I didn't see it coming. I didn't. Um, I choreographed on the show before and um, because I was so creative, I remember only choosing to do a couple of shows, you know, because I couldn't conform my ability to you know just create a vision right. it's like you're always creating so i choreographed on it and when the network called me they said you know we want you to do so you think you can dance i was like oh great i'll choreograph sure, again I'll be back yeah to right do xyz right yeah and they're like no we want to give you a chair Girl, uh, yeah. I pulled my car over right. even after all of the beats and all of the zhuzh and all the times and I sat on the side and I just cried. Mm. And I was like, what do you mean you want me to judge, you know? And I just cried because I realized that it was something for me after all these years of pulling everybody out of themselves. It was something for me. And then it was something that I could tell the younger version of myself. Mm. Because that's my biggest passion is if I can tell young women, all women, but yes, brown and black women, um, anything that they will be able to take with them so they don't have to endure mm. some of the things that I had to endure to fight through, to persevere through. If I can tell them and if they can receive that and make different choices, then I'm really excited about that. Why is that important for you? 
I think it's important, honestly, sis, because sometimes, and I don't spend much time there, but sometimes I don't know how I how I really made it through, mm-hmm. you know? Um, I have always made choices to not follow or not be popular, not that, that weren't the popular choices. I mean, for example, when I had a big fight with Puff Daddy, I'm mm-hmm. making the band, and obviously leaving Lady Gaga at the height of her career and the success of my creativity. But when oppressed, when challenged, when my gift no longer can operate in truth and, you know, people go from nothing to fame and it changes people and it has different effects on people. And so as a creative, if I have to change, then I can no longer create from that pure place. So. I've had to make unpopular decisions in order to remain great. And it's not easy when people don't understand that. Right. And they're thinking, oh, you just got fired or, oh, you're not any good. No. And so the times when you have to curl up in the corner and convince yourself that you will get another shot, those are the times that I wouldn't want some young girls to have to go through, you know, because I don't know. Sometimes I wonder. But I look back very briefly. So because... It's important to reflect. It's important to see where you've come from. You know, the the entire journey is important because you learn things, you take away things. You're just like, oh, okay, remind myself right. not to do that or to do this. And that makes your next step or your next, you know, adventure worthwhile. Right. I, okay, so I know this is hard, but okay. on your journey, who are the top three favorites to work with? Yes, I feel like I, I can only one. tell you because she, you're over Roba. <laughs> She's so good. Yes, oh my God, you're so beautiful. Top three to work with. Because I never tell anybody who my favorites are. Why? Because, honey, they'll come for me and they'll slice and dice me well, and they'll look, affect you love my everyone, coin. But well, here's the beat. Yeah. When sometimes when I get into things like that, I'm very gentle because they are very protected of me and they. They will be, they'll take it personally and yeah. Oh my God! It's a sensitive bunch of squirrels out there that I work with. <laughs> Honey, they're all amazing. They're all amazing. No. But just three my that favorites? you, yeah, you're just your favorites to work with. Now I'm going to tell you, obviously one of my favorites is Sean, Puff Daddy, Diddy, Combs, even Brother after Love. The fight. Even after the fight. We fight every day. Like even when I did <laughs> the Bad Boy reunion yes, tour, yes. even after making the they're band. Right. I got fired five times. <laughs> Stop. And I would walk by Christina, his, his executive assistant. I'd be like, Christina, I'm fired again today, girl. Maybe I'll see you tomorrow. But, you know, the passion to fight for the truth was such an incredible man and to stand by his side and obviously, you know, never ever to have been romantically connected or right, nothing right. like that. Straight respect, straight gangster, straight about what I do. It's like um, not you know, an easy road. So he is my favorite because he allows me to be as passionate and he has acknowledged the power of my gift and he's okay with it, you know? Mm. Um, So he's one of my favorites because I can be as big as I need to be for him. I love that. And he respects it, yeah. I I think that's important. And it's. I think it brings out a certain kind of magic when you get to work with someone who celebrates you for you. Right. And believes in your vision, you know? Down. How do you, why do you want me to make you small when I'm trying to like make sure you like rock a hundred thousand people? Like that (laughs) takes a different type of Jedi, you know, Mm -hmm. and he allows it. Yeah. What kind of choreographing do you like to do? Do you like to do music videos, stage work, tours, like in your world, because you're educating me, what are your favorites to do? Well, it's different. Uh, I love to do everything. Right. Um, I just love to choreograph. I think it's different. Like people think choreographing is teaching a class or just putting, you know, a routine behind an artist, but it's not. For me, Mm. the process begins when I hear the record, when I hear where they breathe or I watch how they walk in the room from their pedestrian stride. I know where I can create the movement and inject it. You know, um, of course, Diddy, he has the Diddy bop and he keeps trying to reinvent it. But we still go back to the Diddy bop, <laughs> which is amazing. Right. Because Elvis had his leg um, with Gaga. She was uh, she heard she heard the music in a different way. She heard the music offbeat. One, nine, one. Want you a bad moment? So I learned to choreograph in the empty wow. of where she heard the music versus the two and the four, you know, um, like a B who, you know, that we black, you know, we hear that two and that right. four. So I love the process of 
creating movement that serves a purpose that'll make you feel something. And it's, if it's music, the record speaks to me. If it's a commercial, it depends on what I'm selling. Right. I love stages. I wrote and directed the Monster Ball. Wow. Um, that was a great tour. Thanks. I went to it when I was in San Francisco. Oh, you did? I did. Girl. It was really, really good. I remember it because it's it was that good. Oh. It was that good. Yes. I remember, I was in San Francisco and I remember going and I'd be like, damn, this is really good. I didn't know that. Yeah. I, mean, I knew you and Gaga were working together, but I didn't. And how did that relationship even start? Like, did she seek you out? Was she like, I need whoever did X, Y, Z? No, 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 no. I met Gaga. Um... She had been dropped from two labels, and Vincent Herbert called me. I did JoJo for Vincent and uh, wow. Dream. Vincent wow. is my brother, and he called me, and he said, can you meet with this girl? And um, I had just freshly left making the band, and I was really upset. And he said, can you meet with this girl? And I was actually doing something for Alicia Keys. So I said, yeah, tell her to come meet me at Pearl Dance Studio, a dance studio downtown. And I was wrapping up Alicia Keys, and there's a reason I'm saying that. Um, and in walks this girl with brown hair, this white girl, and, and she was no reflection of uh, what we were able to collaborate. And I remember calling Vincent and saying, is this a joke, brother? You just using up my time to meet one of your squirrels? Like, are you serious, <laughs> Like, you know, the boys would like, you know, utilize me sometimes like that. And I was like, oh, my God, what is God, this? I got used. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And um, she put in this record and it was, um, I got a red light, pornographic dance, fire systematic, honey, but we got no money. <laughs> and I was like, what did you say? And I loved the lyrics. They just pulled me into a place that I had never been able to create from um and uh i started to dance and she danced right behind me and mm. i was obsessed with fishnets and bodysuits and the next day we came to rehearsal with fishnets and bodysuits and wow i developed everything every step from the beginning till when I left uh, with Born This Way. So yeah, it was a muse. It was a moment. It was two broken birds that wanted to the freedom to create. And it was great until, you know, uh, managers and, and business and men get in the way of, of two strong women. Yeah. Mm. Politics. Yeah. I feel like that's what happens with everything unfortunately because in the in the inception is always beautiful and then it gets more complicated as it becomes more successful right. that's just i feel like everything in life right so when you when you first started off did you know you were going to be this successful as a dancer because i just again i think dancers and aspiring dancers look at you as oh my gosh this is the blueprint that she did it she made it she made it happen the way she wanted to do it did you have this vision when you were starting off? I, 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 I didn't have an exact vision. I had a feeling. Yes, I had a feeling. And one time I remember when I was doing Gaga and it was growing. And I remember one time God asked me, do you want to be famous or do you want to walk in the room with respect and I remember saying no I want to walk in the room and have respect and I didn't realize when I made that choice what that would mean mm. um, so I knew th that I had a feeling and I didn't know when I would get there and I didn't know when that feeling would manifest and it's just manifesting now so wow. I had no idea yeah it was a feeling it came to me like it would feel like this it wouldn't be about this. It would be about this impact. It would be about something that mattered, you know? Right. Yeah. So I'm wow. still defining it. Um, and dance, so powerful. Obviously, there's so much to do. Movies, Broadway, as I grow tours, you know. But it's just that impact that stayed with me as a child. Wow. And so everything that never felt like that, I would walk away from. Because instinctually, I would know that this is not it. For aspiring dancers and, you know, those who want to create and use movement and, you know, showcase their art through their body. I mean, it's it's hard, man. 
It I, it's very, very hard. Which, what would you say is the best piece of advice you could give them? And, you know, looking back at younger you, the best piece of advice you would give her? Yes. How, how does that advice look like? Well, it's two parts. I think that I, when I was 12, and I'm from Toronto, Canada, yes, Raptors, come on through. Whoa! Um, I know. <laughs> Drake is not the only one from Toronto, and I'm still waiting for, for him to put my name in a rap, but it's okay. Um, I know. And neither is little X. I came over first, children. <laughs> but um, I was uh, 12 or 13, and I saw Alvin Ailey at the O'Keeffe Center in mm -hmm. Toronto which is like one of our big uh, th centers. And I remember I was studying at the National Ballet of Canada and I was obviously a black ballerina and I was very, you know, I grew up in a family where my mother said, just if you're the best, you work the best. So I didn't really see my skin color as a weakness. I saw it as a strength. I didn't know it was something that would be a conversation later in my career. But I couldn't find myself in the ballet school because I was the only black girl and they were all white girls. So my mom took me to see Alvin Ailey. And what I saw on that stage was, I mean, I could identify with those black and Latino females dancing so powerful. The choreography, the stack up, it was just, I was from that moment I saw what mm -hmm. I felt. So I got on a Greyhound bus and moved to New York, and I wow. would say that, I studied at Alvin Ailey, I would say that the technique, especially for young black women, Latino women, we have to dance better, we have to be a step above. So I would say technique is important, you know? It will sustain the career. Even though I'm a hip hop choreographer, went to a heavy D audition and left Alvin Ailey because I fell in love with hip hop. <laughs> she found me, she, she swallowed me up, <laughs> and I was out of there, Uptown right. Records. But my technique has sustained me, so I would encourage them to study. And then I would tell them that uh, it is one of the most difficult art forms to persevere in, but uh, every no is just a redirection to a yes. You gotta hang on. And don't compare yourself to anyone because that will just set you, you back. Up. Exactly. Yes. And it'll only take you longer which is hard to understand at a young age. And right now everybody's like, compare yourself. Right. But you gotta refuse to right. compare yourself and follow people that encourage you not to. Right. You know, it's a real conversation. Who inspired you dancing wise? Who, who were those icons for you that you were just like, they're the reason why I wanted to dance? I think along the way, obviously, Debbie Allen fame, I could not mm -hmm. recover. Gregory Hines, the Nicholas Brothers, because I'm a tapper as well, a hoofer. Um, and then a lot of entertainers uh, inspired me for that magic, uh, Bob Marley uh, and Diana Ross, mm. you know. Diana affected me. I had the towel on my head, you know. I Have you had a chance to see her and tell her this? Well, I know Evan very well because okay. my brother, love Evan, we talk all the time. <laughs> but the one time he was like, come meet mother, I ran. I haven't met her yet. What? I refuse to. I don't know what to say. And I've worked with Michael Jackson, who, by the way, is probably, the, yes. you know, obviously. But I, just, I, I, I couldn't meet Diana. I'm like, how do you meet Diana Ross? I'd rather just stay in my room <laughs> with so the inspiration, yeah. the towel on my head. I'm fine. I'm fine with not meeting her. Yeah. <laughs> I think this is so cute. I love this. I love that you're such a fan, you know, and yeah. you still enjoy it. Honey. And you, you know, because you can see the passion behind it, you know. Who have you worked with that you couldn't believe, wow, this is a dream come true? Because you've worked with everyone, but there's had to have been a couple that were icons and you were just like, wow, I can't believe. I think it was just Michael to be yeah. on. I mean, not just Michael, because everyone is a part of the journey but when i worked with michael i did they don't really care about us with spike lee directed and i was doing brandy in la and i got a call and uh spike was like i need you in new york and he didn't tell me what artist so i was like i'm not coming i'm on the set with brandy you crazy he was like it's michael jackson i said i'll be there in a second <laughs> So right. I found the money, got on the plane, and all I remember the first time was before I met him and choreographed, I had like sweat marks under I my guess. arms. I had a white t-shirt on, <laughs> right. and they just just yellow. <laughs> and I was like this. And I had to be like, I don't really care about us. <laughs> like, I don't know my head. And when he said my name, it was like, huh? 
Right. But the power of his gift, when playback would hit and, we, you know, it used to be like, beep, 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 they should. When the song dropped, what came out of him mm. was so electrifying, the dance, the freedom, the energy, it was like something else. And then the second Spike yelled, cut, it would go, and it would go inside. Wow. And I understood that. Because me, at home, people think when I go on a date, I'm like, five, six, seven, eight, sit yeah. down. <laughs> five, six, seven, eight, order for me, babe. Like, right. I'm, not, I'm not like that, you know what I mean? That's what I'm working, I'm like, come on! Yeah. Right, and that—that's what I understood. I said, I understand that, Michael. I understand that. Yeah, because it's bigger than me. Right, mm. it's something else. It's a gift, and like sometimes that's why we're so passionate. Because these young artists walking back and forth, bumping into walls—that's not our legacy, you know. Mm. Right. We stand on the shoulders of the most massive entertainers. Oh yes, that through music have changed the world, you know. And they just want to be like, hi, walking back and forth. You know, no, no, not gonna, no, uh, uh. And it's, so, and it's such hard work and it takes such vision and, it, and it's exhausting too. Right. It's an actual choice and not many survive what is required to stay number one. Do, uh, do aspiring dancers run up to you and all the time and say, hey, look at me. Can you check my workout? I mean, is that how this happens? Oh, my gosh. Okay, it is. Okay. Or don't be in a club because they will <laughs> battle me on the side and I no. will battle them too. And you Oh, win. I still get in the circle for yes. life. Yeah, and everybody's like, you don't have to get in the circle anymore. And I'm like, yes, I do. Yeah, yeah. they came up to me, so <laughs> this is what it is. Yeah. Who, who are some celebrities or dancers th that you really are enjoying their journey right now? There's two young girls on uh, Instagram that I, I've got my eye on, Isabel and another one, because, you know, I know I have them marked, but I don't really, you know... Right. Judge. They got to have some consistency. Kid the Great is great. Obviously, Ian, Wildebeest, obviously, Luther Brown, my choreographer. I've been, you know, King Chris. I have kids that I have birthed that live with me. Boom, cat, moi. Shout out. Shout out to Alton. I love Louis this. model, Gucci model. You know, I've ta I have a real house. <laughs> so there are some young kids who have moved in with me in search of the dream that have been able to have a couch yeah, and a room that's yeah and love. they're doing really well that now what, what yeah. made you want to do that because you know a lot of times when people make it out here they're yeah. good they don't care to look out for somebody that's coming up they don't but you care yeah. you take them under your wing why is that important to you i think because i i slept on a floor you know i uh waitressed from nine at night to six in the morning would go to my ballet class you know I remember um, sleeping on the floor with a rat and a roach. And it's just not a good thing in the beginning. But I then I got a futon, you know, and then I came up. But I just, again, I don't like to look back too long. Right. But I just wouldn't want them to have to, you know, fight through that. It's only the grace of God why it didn't, I didn't give in, you right. know. But um, so... Yeah. But that's got to be hard for you because you have so much empathy, right, mm -hmm. to turn someone away, right? And so that's why I'm enjoying to see you as a judge on the show because it's, I feel, be this is me personally, I feel like because you're so nurturing, I mean, is that hard for you to have to turn someone away? Because you know what that feels like. And you don't want them to feel like this is the end of the road. It's like, well, look, it might not work here, but it could work somewhere else. I mean, is it hard for you or are you at that point in life where it's this is just part of it? It is hard, but mother can smell a rat. So mm. I can smell a entitled beat. Right. I can smell a you're faking it. I can smell a this is mama's money. You don't understand what it is to fight. And money, nor entitlement, nor nor prestige can come in the middle of the dance. Like, you can't mm -hmm. take that magic. So I know what that is. So no, you know, at the compassion is there. But I also understand what it takes to be great. So when it's work, I always step up to the plate to have the hard mm -hmm conversations but still inspiring right of course still but nurturing, i can just smell a fraud and a judge and a judge and a judge yeah and be done yeah what are some of the videos or shows that you've been to that really that you really admired that you're just like they they really did a great job shady boots obviously i would just have to say you know um 
obviously my sis Beyonce because the level of execution is what it takes I haven't been to a lot of shows recently that have moved me and not that that's a bad thing it's just you know um everyone is doing the same thing you know it's not just about the lights right oh and every new artist that comes to me is like I know what my lights are I want my lights to be you're like really you're at the lights, honey. I'm at who? What are you emoting? Right. right. Can you move a crowd? Right. Because you, yes. You know what I mean? Can you yes. give me a feeling? Yeah. You just want to be. Isn't it. Honey, bunches <laughs> of votes. Obviously, Kanye has been right. one of my favorite uh, artists and collaborators. But again, you know, it's hard after curating the Monster Ball and the Pink Print Tour for Ooh. Nikki and Katy Perry and obviously the Bad Boy reunion. It's hard for me because I don't just do. The same lights. I write original tours. So whether you're in Madison Square Gardens or you're starting out at the club, it's an original perspective for me. Yeah, yeah. see, that's art. That's how you... There's an art to this. Right. It's like nobody else could do your no, show. Right, 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 right. It's like comedians, stand-up comedians. They write their own material and only they can really deliver it like that if they're good, right? right. But it's... I, I think the journey's fun to watch. Like, I could never do what you do. Right, but it's the fact that there's so much thought behind it. Like, oh, what it, what am I hearing? What are the lyrics? And just hearing you explain that, like, it, it just you for an outsider wouldn't know that's all part of it. Mm -hmm. uh, you could do it though because you 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 have vision, right? Right, but still, and once you have you, the, not everybody has vision though. Right. So you have vision. You have the ability to see something that's not there. That's the beginning of the same gift that I have as a creative director. Everyone thinks it's about Googling, but no. You actually have the ability to see something and then find the inspiration to get yourself here. You saw this. Right. Not everybody can do that. Right. So, well, thank yeah. You. They're well, like, I'm gonna start dancing, yes! y'all. Yes! <laughs> can you imagine? Yeah, we'll come back. <laughs> right? Yes, we can. We're <laughs> gonna shoot an intro commercial. Here we go. Okay? <laughs> what's, your, what's your dream, not just your dream vision because i think it's not just choreography it's there's so much more to what you do but if you had to put something together that you haven't done yet because you've done so much what what does that look like what does that look like i i is it a play is it you know a, a one person show like or or is it a what what does that look like for you i'm just so curious it's all of those things, right? Obviously movies and film and theater. and But I, I want to make the world dance. And with whatever I touch, whether it be television, live, artistry, whatever, I want to evoke that passion and that feeling. And you'll know it's my work. But I also want to do... Um, one song, one video with a lot of our artists right now mm -hmm. and have them dance. And um, yeah, it would be nice to see like... Kanye, Snoop, Alicia, you know, like right. everybody just have to listen to Mama and I choreograph just like Anytime. one video. Anytime. Yes. Yeah. And they dance down, honey. And I get them back. <laughs> yeah. And it's not There's just it's not just dancing. But do you see yourself like just directing art just in general, not just dancing? Because I'm just maybe because I adore you so much. Oh. I'm just like, OK, so what's next? I, it's, <laughs> is it like a play? Is it a it's a few things, but I can't tell okay. you yet, but I'll come back because it's coming soon. Okay. But, this is um, exciting. you know, I direct every day. I just directed a video uh, for two Latin brothers who are amazing. And obviously, you know, after directing the Monster Ball and uh, you and I and great, I'm getting back into my head as a director because it takes so much out of you. Right. So it's not something I'm just like, yeah, let me direct a video, put up some lights. It's different. Um, so I'm definitely doing more directing, but obviously, obviously I've sold a, I've sold a scripted dance show. So there's a lot wow. going on in Go Boom Cack world. Yes. Yes. But today I'm just everything. so happy to have someone. You deserve it. Like all. yourself. Give me the platform you to inspire. I was so excited because it's been many months when I first heard that you're coming to town. I was like, yes, please. If she could come in wow. on the show, because I, you've done it all. And it's not just the work that you've given us like that we see because because you know there's so much more that goes on behind right. it all. Right. And I just think even with dancing, but it was also fashion. It was everything. Yeah. And I felt like you really brought songs to life. And I, I just, I'm happy. And I'm happy to see you win. Oh, you know, God, when girl. it's like, wow, you're getting one. I mean, 
you know, it's great that you're a judge, but it's like they should have been put you on, in my opinion. We're thankful. Don't get yes, me wrong. Right. But it's like you are that person. You've been in a game for such a long time. And, you know, you've you've opened the doors for so many people. And I hope you're feeling that. I hope you know that you've showed us greatness. You know what I'm saying? Because a lot of times people don't acknowledge the people doing the work right. behind it. And you are that person. Oh God, girl, don't make me cry. No, but just, you should say, you should know who you are because I think that what's important is a lot of people don't understand that most outlets don't understand the impact uh, like people like myself have. And if you could open the door so we could communicate that impact, then I think more people would find value in understanding what a true artist is. Yeah, right. That fame and celebrity is one thing, but a true artistry requires something else. And so for you to even understand that in me is just a reflection of who you are. It's the work yeah. you put in, I swear. But back in right. the day, they really were okay with having conversations. Right. Rolling Stone, you right. know, these Just type of outlets. For yeah. real conversations. Right, to really inspire. So 10 million points to you, sis. No, no, no. this no, no. is Thank not you. a normal thing, kid. <laughs> you made your art make someone who can't dance like myself be like, yes! yes see, everybody can dance now. <laughs> Trust and believe. Mama knows everyone can dance. <laughs> it's just how I pull it out. But that's awesome because I, I was... Remembering the first time I met Mary at Uptown Records and the first show she ever did, I did with her. And, um, you know, back then we used to just like call the step out on stage, right. Uptown, and stay in it. I used to choreograph live on stage. And then finally she let me choreograph. And, um, you know, I never looked back from that. And obviously, you know, what Mary is today is outstanding. But, but we used to get it right. You know, we used to just really have the opportunity to fall and get back up so yeah and that's and that's the beauty about this right it's the it's the rebound it's the comeback it's the comeback yeah in truth and the yeah. comeback without you feeling like if i can't honor my gift and and tell you the truth and and do what i am called to do and what you're hiring me to do and i gotta lie to you and yes you to death and just be Ugh. a part of the hype train then that's what is in, is is cancerous in the right. industry today is that the kids just want to hear that they're amazing. But you got to work. And there's nothing wrong. I mean, I can't even imagine how your sessions and your rehearsals are because you just want to be better than the last time. And Absolutely. even though you're great, you're like, no, I'm going to be greater, better, exactly. harder. Exactly. You know, it's like pushing yourself past what you thought was Capable. the highest level. You could go. Exactly. Keep their keep my foot on their necks, I say to yes. my dancers. Yeah. I love that. Yeah. I, I'm so proud of you. Congratulations Thanks. on everything. I feel like you need to write about a bazillion books. Okay. okay, no, seriously, because just what you've gone through, your stories, your experiences, and your motivation is really inspiring. So thank, thank you. you. Of Thanks course, for having absolutely. me. Absolutely. Yes.